two, one, and go. All right, next thing we got to do is we got to find a uh, a small child. Oh, there were no small children around here. Now I have to get this one. He's a million miles away. I probably should have turned back. Uh, and of course that. Oh, hey, there's the. Okay, cool. That worked out. Alright, we're gonna get out of that, and we are going to disrupt the dinner of Madame Habitant. Oops. Oh, get back in. Okay. Oh my goodness, he's right here. That's amazing, RNG. Uh oh. That's not. So this game is kind of like semi RNG, in which all of the, like, the. the oh, hello. The dolls that you need will all be like in the air general area, but they can kind of walk around and move around on their of their own accord. So sometimes he's like in the kitchen or like around the back, and it's not fun. But sometimes he's literally like right where I need him to be. This child gets seasick, and so we're gonna toss our cookies all over his maps because he is another one of the adventurers. Cool, and we're done. All right, well, now we need to actually go get them up there. So let's go ahead and... Oops, there we go. Where is Homeboy? Homeboy is here. We're going to go insult this man's uh, pride, I guess. Ta -da. Yeah, we're basically just going to be using all four of these guys' unique abilities to get past the gates. One, two. Uh, this guy is claustrophobic, so of course we wrap him up. Mummy tape. Da -da -da, let's go. Uh, this man is allergic to bullets, so we shoot him because that's a, is the you know level-headed thing to do, of course. Oh, I got like it right in front of him. Nice. And of course, we're going to go to the captain with Madame Habitant and just scream at this guy. Hi. <laughs> Fun times. All right. There has been a mutiny, and th this game has a story, but we don't care. The story is... Oh, I keep hitting B. The story of this... This actually is a pretty cute little story, but <clears throat> I'm going to be skipping, like, 90% of it. All right. There goes Levi. There is a shortcut out of this place. There it is. And we use it exactly this one time, because we need to get to the very back of the train station. And hooray, we never see this place again. <clears throat> uh oh. <laughs> Part of the problem with this game's controls is that you control, like, a triple-decker bus with the, with an elephant on the top. So you've got the turning radius of... Oh, I screwed up. So you have the, basically have the turning radius of a Freightliner. There you are. Come here, mother. Actually, I don't need him. I forgot. Wait, yes, I do need him. Damn it. This is what happens when I don't practice. Come here, farty boy. Give me your ass. I mean, give me your butt so I can fart out of it. Cool. And we're done with you, and we need you. So what happened here is basically these... The judge needs his VIP ticket. But they won't give it to them until those lines are sorted by size, for some reason. Uh, and so we basically just evacuated that area and then had the union leader organize. Because, you know, funny jokes. Uh, this part is long and slow because I can't make him go any faster, so if we have any donations, which I'm pretty sure we don't, we can go ahead and read them. Give me a chance to take a sip of my beverage. Ah. The smooth taste of Dr. Pepper. I'm sellout ready, boys. Oh, wait, wrong one. Duh. I was wondering why he wasn't letting me on. <laughs> Deliver Justice. Deliver Justice is fun, but it's a long animation and it does nothing. But what it does is it bashes people over the head, and it's funny. Oh, Hi, yes, you are the Spice Girl. Let me in! Okay, so we need to get out of this kitchen, so what we do is we distract these two bullies. Sack, there we go. And right, they're distracted, and there is the leader of the resistance. And we're gonna rally the troops, take our, uh, depose the bullies, and we're out of here. 
Hello. Okay. This part is fun because I need a the next I need a size one doll, which is really hard to come by. Or excuse me, a size two doll. Well, both of these dolls. Never mind. I'm never mind. I'm just a god. All right. So this Merryweather Malador, but I also want to get inside his wife. So I'm gonna take her from the back. <laughs> uh, anyone run all unique dolls or all hijinks? Uh, no, but there is a category for it. Um, you are welcome to run that. Uh oh, oh, I didn't get close enough. Um, I have I currently hold a world record for all solutions, which is like a uh, 50 minutes to an hour long run. Uh, I think my world record is like 48 minutes. It's pretty good. But I don't know why you would run all unique dolls and all hijinks, because that seems miserable. Not that I'm saying... Not that I wish to discourage anyone from running this game. Because it's basically just me and sometimes Squeemeister. Oh, not you. We did have two donations. Oh, I got two donations. Go ahead and read them. They were, I believe, in the last run. Okay. But it was a $10 donation from Jill, who says, Good luck, have fun. And a $2 donation from Rock and I... To get the donation total to sixty nine, sixty nine. Nice. Just says nice. Yeah. Nice. 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 All right, I'll drop out. <laughs> cool. Okay. Well, I mean, this is actually a great spot for more donations because I have to walk across a long hallway. But whatever. I probably should have mentioned that, but I forgot because I don't practice my speed runs. Sixty nine is nice. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get caught by this guy uh, up ahead. Uh, he's a big evil meanie. I've made the joke of the run being over too many times. It's just not funny, even to me anymore. Okay, I need you. Cool, I didn't get in the stacker. You to put out this fire. Yep. And we're done. Hey, we got out of jail. Uh, oh, I should probably... Well, no, I'm not going to explain what we're doing here, because that's lore. And this game does have some pretty deep lore for a, you know... What? Don't, don't trust me. I played this game for this story, like, one time. Okay. I need you, and I need another slice. There you go. Quickly, quickly, quickly! Ah, did I get it? Yes, I got it! Oh, <laughs> that's finicky. Okay. So you'll notice we're in front of some politicians here. Uh, why is that? I'd like to know, too. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and stack into all of them. And we're going to go take them to the engine room. And this part sounds like epic and confrontational and, you know, all those other buzzwords. But I, I literally just opened two doors with this guy. So, yeah. <laughs> By the way, this guy chasing us is one of our, is our sister. One of the people we're uh, rescuing. So, that's a little lore tidbit for you guys. Man, I will be so happy if I never have to run this game again. <laughs> oh, I'm just out of content for it. i played this game to death. Other people need to play this game so I don't have to. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and unstack onto all these bellows to power up the uh, power up this balloon that's crashing. Or Zeppelin, excuse me. But it's not quite enough, so we have to go down here and hit this tiny little bellows for some reason. Because, you know, that took forever. I don't know why that kept, that took as long as it did. Alright, cool. Press A. There we go. Or press cross, I guess. I'm using a DualShock 4. PlayStation 4 controller. I used to run this with, uh, with mouse and keyboard, but I just can't be bothered anymore, quite frankly. Okay, so. We're back at the Royal Train Station. And we gotta go ahead and get those, the last train running again. And the problem now is the trains aren't running because the clock, the clock has stopped. Uh, and we need to get it, and the trains are not in sync anymore. Thank you, ma'am, for letting me be inside of your child. Alright, we got the bird. We're flying up. Unstack, unstack, stack, and spam A. And who bloody ray, the clock is wound, and we can leave. So, this guy's fun looking. Cool, that was the last time we're going to see the train station. Bye! 
Okay, so this is a, this is a fun little screen to look at, and we never have to look at that again. Sorry for you guys who are scared of what clowns, but I'm not, and I don't like you. All right, so these are a bunch of kids. <laughs> nice, trapped just where I want them. <clears throat> Alright, so this puzzle has only one solution, unlike every other uh, puzzle in this game. Get in the dog feeder, spam the A button, and while he's running for the tree, you hijack his free will and open the gate. <laughs> yeah, boy. I like to think this is a uh, this is a game about you being a uh, a mind altering parasite, just because it's funny. Hooray! This is overtime lady. She's useful. She goes fast and uh oh. And we like it to go fast because going fast is faster than not going fast. Anyway, the guy down here that we that we skipped that guy Richie introduction for. He's uh he doesn't want to get sick, so of course our solution is to uh uh pour water on him and make him and cool him off so he becomes cold or he gets a cold uh, so that's great we saved one of our siblings who bloody Ray I need to have a disguise that's perfect uh, I didn't mention but uh, in the last area I set off a, um, a story flag I don't know why I got inside this lady and then never used the freaking overclock or overtime whatever anyway uh, there's a mechanic now or oops wrong one Forgot, I didn't get the first one. Uh, mechanic now, where there are guards, the Baron's guards. Uh, if they see me naked, as in see me at size zero, just Charlie, they will chase me. And if they catch me, then they will throw me off the ship and waste about ten seconds. Oh, hell yeah, this game is charming. Come on, let's let me hit it from the back. There we go. Alright, and you, I wish to hit it from the back as well. Oh wait, I need a, I forgot, I need a woman. Thank you. Cool. And the reason we need a woman is because this is the ladies' carriage. And they won't let men through. Oh, by the way, we're catching, we're uh, getting the pianists. Uh, the, the, pe the penises, you know what, screw it. We're getting the penises. We're waking up the final penis. Getting out of this guy. Uh, getting back inside of you. And inside of you. And we're gonna leave. We have all of the penises. <laughs> Great. Now we just need to. I'm gonna skip this guy for now because I can do this quickly. Um, but if you fail it, or if you don't do it quick enough, then you waste. Um, you, they all go back to their starting positions and you waste a ton of time. So I'm just gonna play it safe because I'm kind of tired of this game, quite frankly. All right, great. Now I need to go back. I am going to take you. Uh, yeah, because there's a guard right here. Hi, you don't see me. Okay, oh, hello. Luckily, rescuing Agatha from Tiberius the Terrible is not particularly difficult. Uh, I need to have this soup boy. And what I do is like, oh, there's another one over here. I'm going to get this bird down from his perch. And I'm going to, oops, get out of him and fly on top of this guy's head and tickle him to death. Hooray, that man is dead. I am a felon. I'm just kidding. He's not dead. Alright, next one. Oh, I could have gotten inside overtime, lady, but I was slow. Yeah, <laughs> loot is right. Okay, so we're just going to trudge on over. I need a flare man and an oil baron. Right now I need a size 2. So here's an oil baron, and I need, there you are, thank you for being right where I needed you to be. Candlestick boy, whatever. So here's what's gonna happen. This man likes it dark, so we're gonna, ro we're gonna light up his world. So fire up the flare, unstack, pour some oil on it, and congratulations, we have seared his eyeballs out of his skull. Great! A lot of turn the cuts, yeah. This game's cutscenes are extremely charming, and I'm kind of sad we have to miss them, but at the same time, I'm really not, because they're slow. Um, I, if you want, oh, 
Uh, go to the NASA uh, YouTube page, North American Speedrunners Assembly. Um, not too long ago, I did a speedrun for them of this game, where I voice acted all the cutscenes, and it is extraordinarily funny. So, shoutouts to NASA for letting me do that a while ago. I need a child. Uh, this is not the correct child. Actually, it doesn't matter, I just need a few. Hey, an overtime lady. So this is the children's carriage. It's for little boys and girls. That man has a, that boy has a toothbrush. So, of course, we're gonna do that. And now we have the toothbrush boy. So why did we put a toothbrush on this boy? Well, the next guy is uh, Clown Doofus. I don't actually know his name. Oh, Simpleton the Strong, and he's not scared of anything except ghosts. So who, Bloody Ray? We have saved all of our family, and it's time to leave. <sighs> and there they are. Okay, we need to stack into everybody. Cool. And this is basically just training you what their these guys' unique abilities do because we need them for the final boss. Well, quote unquote boss. So she dusts things. He climbs chimneys, but only very specifically sized chimneys. Uh, she puts out fires, or one very specific fire. Uh, she can uh, get underneath coal dumps with her umbrella and also knock away other dolls, which is undocumented. And very annoying. Uh, Albert, or Albert Blackmore lives to soft lock my game. And we didn't soft lock. Yay! And there is Daddy, Daddy Blackmore. Hooray! Alright, we're at the last level, boys. Okay. So, we need to stack, stack. I need a foil bearing. Stack. Stack, stack, stack. So we're gonna pump these bellows. There we go. Cool. And we blew that up. The the Baron is above us, by the way. I probably should have mentioned that. No, what am I doing? I need the maintenance man, you. And then stack and stack. Actually, I'm gonna stack into you just so you don't go anywhere. Oh, no, he's going somewhere. Damn it. Hang on. Alright, fine. I was hoping there was someone nearby I could just stack into, but no. Okay, oh, I hit the R1 button. That's bad. Uh, what's this next one? This one is... Oh, yeah, Cortison. Uh, Cortison is the slowest doll in the game, and we need her for exactly that long. Cool. Yeah, we can use the courtesan for um, another uh, another uh, solution for all solutions, and sometimes I do use her, but only if she's nearby. Uh, but usually I don't. And the reason we want her for that is because she's um, she lures away one of the um, one of the guard or the guard at the. Uh, train lounge at the beginning of the game but but the alternative is getting uh, a screamy lady over there who walks much faster because she is not trying to take my money in exchange for sexual favors uh, do I need you? no I don't need you cool I want to pray that she does not get knocked over because Ursula getting knocked over wastes a bunch of time. She got knocked over. Great. I have to wait. Cool. Uh, headphone warning. That was it. Alright, now we have to go get our little brother. No special combinations for this. There we go. Please let me hit this bird from the back. That's right, boy! By the way, please feel free to hit, take everything I am saying completely out of context and use it against me. 
Because that's basically the point of this game. Alright, light a floyer. Fart it out. The boom. Funny jokes. Alright, this is the final level. This is, or this is the final boss. Uh, I got inside this dude. Uh, we're playing Rochambeau, by the way. You'll notice he has scissors on his head. I'm going to go get inside this rock dude. And beat him with that. It's uh, Time is on the uh, fourth hit, by the way. Two! So get ready to get ready on time. Uh oh. Oh, that's bad. Now I need skizzers. That's three. Come on. Ah. This rock. Now I need. Ah, oh, it's going the wrong way. There's some paper over here. Come on. Uh oh. Where are you going? Come here! Come here, you little... Oh, I'm gonna... What are you doing? Okay, he's paper. And... Time. Hooray! The, the orphans ate him. That, that is what happened. Oh, 2511. That's terrible. We went overestimate, but you know what? I don't care. <laughs> I would I would be happy to not have to run this game in a marathon. <laughs> All right, well, that's been fun. I've been left side. You guys have been great. <clears throat> uh, come check me out on twitch.tv slash left worldwide, even though I stream almost never. <laughs> uh, maybe I should do more speedruns. <laughs> All right, well. The next run is something fun. At least I'm sure it is. I haven't looked at the schedule. Because I'm a selfish boy. Uh, so yeah. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh,